Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob, and welcome yet to another review. Just want to thank you so much for joining, and hopefully you will enjoy this with me. Today we are looking at a uh, Case 1455. It's a pack that I've downloaded from modland.net. Obviously it's a mod. <laughs> we normally look at mods, you know guys. <laughs> and uh, yes, it is quite a, a nice pack. It comes with three models. I can quickly run just through the models with you. Let's get in here, and here it is. You get the, the 1455XL, the XL Plus, and the XL Black. And they they all very nicely priced. I mean, for for what you get for the price, it is very, very nice. Um, so let us just run basically just through the three. To, to be honest with you, I couldn't really find a difference between between the XL and the XL Plus, but um, it, to me everything looked the same, you know, so um, I might be confused or dim uh, like uh, um, crazy or something, but I couldn't spot the difference. Maybe you guys can help me, I don't know. But anyways, very nice lot of settings to, to go for. That's why you'll see we, we're starting off with six models. Uh, in the six models that I've bought, I uh, just ran through a few just to get an idea of what you can expect in this pack, you know. Uh, it's all three are the same tractors. They can just be set up differently. So, yeah, let's just run through what you can do. The attaches, obviously. Uh, this one is um, with the weights in front. And then this one is standard, obviously with no weights. And then front hydraulic, which is very nice because the standard case in the game doesn't have the option for front hydraulic so i love this you know it's the one thing that let down this tractor quite a bit was the fact that it didn't get uh, front hydraulic and now it does so this is wonderful 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 news because i must say i kind of like this tractor it's not bad at all you know for all round the tractor on the farm um okay so that's that front loader attachment awesome also very nice and then the three motors that you can choose from is the, the 1255 with 92 kilowatt, 125 horsepower. Uh, sorry, I just want to go here. And then the 1455, obviously, which is the one, uh, the standard base game comes. It's a 107, 145 uh, horsepower and 107 kilowatts. And then obviously the one that's been tuned a bit to just push it a little bit more with the power or the, the output. And that's 132 kilowatts, 180 horsepower. Which makes this a medium tractor, which is awesome, you know. It just touches on the medium side, 130. I normally call a medium tractor here from 150 kilowatt, you know. So, so yeah, it's touching, touching on the on the medium sized tractor. But it's nice, you know. With the 130 kilowatts, you can do a lot on the farm. Basically anything, you know. Pulling stuff, doing mowing, grass mowing. You can put the front and back mower on this, and it will run with it no problem. Um, Okay, so that's with the three engines. Then the wheel setup, guys. That's basically why we had to put a lot of models out there. It's because of the wheel setup. Uh, you get the standard, the trailer book used, which um, I honestly don't see why you would want used tires because look at the price. They're three grand for a used tire. And then uh, the Continental is just 200 bucks more. <laughs> it's a no-brainer, guys. <laughs> and then the white tires, it's cheaper, you know. Hello, <laughs> I'd rather go for the white tires, you know. Let's forget about the used tires. And then the Mitchell and Broad and the narrow tires for crop spraying and that type of stuff. And then a wheel narrow two, which is a different one. And then twin wheels. That's all your options for tires. So there's a lot of tire setup. And then the design, guys. I've looked my eyes out. I couldn't see the difference in the new design and the new design too and the full design so there's basically four models <laughs> it's the, it's crazy it's a basic one a new design a new design two and a full design and i couldn't find one thing that's different between them so i don't know if i'm going crazy or whatever but anyways i've uh, set up a few um and we will have a look through through that i've, I've bought uh, the full design the new design and the new design two um, that's the ones I've chosen from, just to have a, a variety, you know. But yeah, we will we will see ourselves what is going on there. And then obviously the beacon lights. To me, you can have one beacon light, two or or none. And uh, to be honest with you, 
to me big notch it's a total waste of time in the game <laughs> hello i've got little lights blinking when i'm driving <laughs> But yeah, let's just form a Bob's opinion. Please don't take it seriously, guys. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let us run through them. This one here is the full design. This one here. So this is what you're having a look at now. It is the full design. And to me, they all look exactly the same. I mean, I couldn't find one difference, you know. This is the full, the, 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 the new design. I'm just going to run outside, guys. You'll see I'll put the Michelin tires on this. And uh, it's got nice number plates on in the front, you know. Um, front loader attachment, like I said, which is awesome. Um, this one's also got the Michelin tires, so that's the standard tires. I don't know if you can spot anything different, but I looked my eyes out. I couldn't, even inside, I couldn't find nothing. Um, anyways, the third one is the new design too. And once again, it's exactly the same thing. Uh, uh, and on this one, I'll put the trailer book tires. This is the used trailer book tires, by the way. They still look pretty neat for used ones, eh, guys? <laughs> but anyways, you can actually see a, a difference in design in the Trellybook tires and the Michelin's. If you have a look at these two models. So there's a good uh, show for you for um, Trellybook and Michelin. So uh, to me, it uh, doesn't really matter. It's a tire. It grips. They basically got basically the same, same type of V pattern, which on any tractor is standard. So that... Let me just put off my phone, otherwise we can have this all night ringing in our ears. Pretty annoying. Sorry for that, guys. Um, yeah, so it's a normal V-shape. It's a wedge-shape uh, tire that forces uh, um, mud and whatever to the outside of the tire and water. So nothing strange about that. And then this one here is uh, the full design with... Uh, With the sprayer tires, this is the full design. I'm just checking what I've written down here just to not get confused. <laughs> this farmer Bob can surely get confused easily. So yeah, just to have a look around on that. Like I said, they to me... Oh, mind you, they, I see something different here. Look at this panel here. It's a little bit more black than this one. Am I seeing that correctly? That is definitely a difference, yeah. Now that I've noticed that. This one has maybe got some more grey. That one's got a fire extinguisher. They all got fire extinguishers. Now that it's got this weird tire setup, you can actually see. Or oh, is that just a light? Oh, guys, sorry. It's just a light on the on that side. Look at that. This is the sun side. This is the sun side. So they're all the same color. <laughs> I almost thought I spot something. <laughs> okay, crazy. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is the crop spraying tires, the thin tires, and there's also another set of thin tires, which basically looks the same as that. It's just thin tires to spray with, and then you get the black edition, which I put the Michelin Broad on. This is the Michelin Broad tires. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, really, you really have to look very closely to find a difference between the, the Michelin Broad and this one, it is very little difference. I mean, it's just maybe maybe 20 or 30 uh, millimeters in size difference, if you have a look at it. It does look a little bit thicker. But anyways, that's the Michelin Broad, to have a look at that. Quite nice. <laughs> kind of like these broad tires. Okay, and then lastly, but not the least, is the twin tires. Which I must say, it looks pretty impressive. Yes, so on a, like I was saying, on a small tractor like this, or a touching medium tractor, you will never ever uh, really get the power um, advantage or traction advantage. Um, I mean, your engine is just not, it's not going to really make a difference, because you, you, you actually need a lot of power to warrant 
double double wheels, you know. <laughs> At 130 kilowatt, uh, honestly, doesn't warrant having double tires on a tractor, you know. It's very nice for having um, this type of setup if you may be in a very wet area, you know, where it's very wet and muddy. Then that will help. But, I mean, for you're not going to really... Uh, see the fruit of putting twin tires on a small tractor like this. But anyways, it looks impressive. <laughs> that's, that's for sure, guys. It surely looks all right. Eh? Okay, just for fun, we will be using this one, um, the 1455 with the twin wheels uh, for our testing. And like always, um, I've set up a small test for us. Uh, but let's just have a look inside uh, how this thing um, actually... Uh, take a look inside. How does it look inside? This is the inside of the cabin. Very, very nicely done. Everything is nicely um, mod modeled, you know. And very nicely uh, uh, made so that it looks like the original or, or like the real deal. And then obviously this whole tractor has got the um, internal commands or internal uh, um, IC, you know. So if you press your space, you can find it. You can open the little windows left and right. And you can open the doors, obviously. Just close that again. And on the other side, you can close the door as well. This side, you've got the, uh, your GPS and whatever settings that you want to do. You can put that little uh, warning triangle out. And then obviously the back window. And lastly, this side, the same stuff there. And obviously, you've got a sunroof as well that you can open and close, which is nice. You know, so not that you're going to ever use these things in game. But it's nice to know that they're there. <laughs> so for those that like to fiddle around with these things, Farmer Bob doesn't care, you know. Um, I'm not the kind of guy that opens the door and then get out and then close the door. It's to me in the game, it's totally a waste of time, you know, because I'm an, it, it, it's a given that you have to open the door to get out. <laughs> so we just assume it opens and closes, <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah, it is very realistic to assume it will open and close. All right, so guys, uh, let us test a few other things. Uh, first thing to test is the horn. It's got a very nice horn, I must agree. No complaints about the horn. I like the horn. And then the lights. Let's go external to just have a view at the lights. Obviously, that's your normal driving lights. Very, very nice. And then you've got uh, rear working lights for, for plowing and field work at night. And then your main lights. That is, that is like a main light. Very, very nice lighting, I must, must say. Quite like the lighting. That is nice. And then lastly, or not lastly, but let's just hear how it sounds. Oh yeah. That sounds very good. Let's just see the, how's the smoky looking. Oh yeah, that is the way it should be, guys. That's the way a diesel engine starts. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, there must be a puffy of smoke when the diesel engine starts, man. <laughs> okay, and then um, there was one thing, one thing uh, more that I wanted to have a look at. Um, for the life of me, I've forgotten now. Oh yes, there we go. For my Bob, just remind, remembered. These the mirrors, guys. Does the mirrors work? We are surely going to find out. Oh yes, the mirrors works beautifully, and I must say this tractor has got some pretty impressive mirrors. Very nice. Good stuff, man, guys. Look at that. And I've actually bought a little um, flower uh, cultivator especially for this tractor to to use in our test. I normally just put the tractor through its paces, you know, just to get an idea what it. Uh, can do and how it feels like now in the write-up of this um, we can actually just quickly have a look at the write-up this is the write-up enjoy it <laughs> with me and I must say I like this track it's not bad at all much better than the, the in-game one you know right flat speed let's see what it can do flat speed 43 k's an hour not bad at all Interesting enough, I bought a cultivator, and there you go, it is in the back. Right, 
Okay guys, we are going to do just a, a bit of cultivating here on this map, which is the Plains and Simple map from Stevie. This is my fool around map where I do all my mod testing and fooling about. And for those of you who haven't looked at my reviews, uh, you are welcome to go to my channel and check out all my reviews of different equipment. And you will find some amazing, interesting stuff there. I recently did a potato, uh, not a potato, a, uh, a cultivating, fertilizing and uh, plowing test. It's three videos, it's a very long test, it's about four hours in total, but it's three videos. Um, and it is amazing to see the actual truth of what is happening in Farming Simulator. Is it worth plowing? Is it worth cultivating? Does it make a difference to, to fertilize and when do you fertilize and how it, what differences does it make? So please go and have a look at that. You will be amazed. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. Um, all right, guys. So here we are, ready to set up and uh, let's just have a look. What I normally do is I do a run up here because it's a nice little incline. It's not just a level ground. So it, it's... A little bit level and then it goes slowly up and then we can see how the tractor actually performs you know in in this setup this cultivator uh, needs 160 kilowatt the tractor is 130 so we're overpowering it a little bit but there's a good reason for that so we can see how it performs above above its uh, capabilities all right so let this just get stuck in let's unfold why does this thing now look to me like a plow? Uh, like a planter as well. It's definitely got a cedar there in the back. I don't even know that. Sorry guys. Doesn't really matter. We're not going to plant anything. I just want to see if I can. Oh my gosh, I can plant. Alright. So it can cultivate and it can plant. Doesn't really matter. We want to see how the tractor performs. So I'm going to just go and um, chuck in here a nice setup of um, there you go I normally get let the worker do this gives me time to um, to actually sit and relax now the top speed of this flower is 16 k's uh, or this cultivator 16 k's an hour and here you can see it's actually doing that very very nice so yeah it is really performing as expected if you have a quick look at the cultivator, um, where is my cultivators now? Here we go. And the one we bought was this one, this Colander Kern Pack. And it needs 162 kilowatts. And the top speed is, oh, it's 17, sorry, not 16, right? So there we go. It's already on the uphill. It just started the incline. I can estimate it's going to end up at 14 there on top, you know, but uh, yeah, it, it will be actually interesting to see if it can keep up to 15, <laughs> which is very nice. I mean, you can really see this tractor is performing, eh, guys? That tuning of the chip of the diesel motor really did its trick, eh? And we are close to the top, and we're holding steady at 15, which is awesome, man. Although it says 17, you'll never get 17. Guys, they always want kilometer an hour under the, the spec. This is amazing, guys. There you go. We're on top speed again because we're on top. So, 30 kilowatt under, and it's really performing as as if you have like a 200 kilowatt tractor here in front. <laughs> so, so yes, value for money, guys. There you have it. The case 1455 back. Uh, download it for yourself there at modland.net and enjoy it guys that is my review i think it's a fairly full review and a nice test on it and uh, yeah um, i hope i hope you enjoyed it with me if you have any comments leave for us and uh, i really appreciate your honesty and guys thanks for watching man uh, until next time take care this is farmer bob saying cheers <laughs>